YouTubers. I um, wanted to follow up my video of the S9 antenna that I installed recently to um, show you what it does, how it uh, looks on my uh, spectrum scanner here, my antenna analyzer from uh, UKITS. Uh, so if I can remember how to use this thing, um, let's uh, see what it looks like. Okay, I want to... Okay. So let's go down to 7 megahertz. I think that's where this antenna starts. So at 7.5 megahertz, uh, we've got impedance of 24, SWR of 2.2. Uh, you can see that there is a bit of a dip there. Uh, where are we now? 10.5. So there is a drop in impedance, but not really good SWR. Of course, you have to use a, a tuner with these antennas, along with the Bellin. So we're approaching 14 megahertz now. So uh, impedance of 20 ohms, SWR 2.8. So again, you, you're going to be using a tuner, but uh, the antenna seems to 17 megahertz dip there. The uh, impedance always seems, I mean, 73 ohms isn't bad. Um, SWR 1.6 right there in the 18 megahertz band. So it goes up and down, but I think. Uh, never really goes right out of whack so it seems to be usable in all these ranges 29.5 28 ohms impedance SWR 1.7 looks like it might work well on 10 meters there and how high does this thing go oh, 6 meter band Again, it's in reasonable ranges for use with a uh, tuner. So, uh, interesting to see the waveforms, though, on the meter. And uh, we'll uh, see how this works. We'll do some more tests of the antenna when the bands uh, get better. Uh, they've just been uh, terrible. The A index is just sky high right now. I can't even pick up the maritime mobile net on uh, 20 meters at 14.3. That's how bad it is. So uh, once conditions uh, improve, uh, I hope to do a, a real working, some working tests of the uh, the Urchi antenna or the S9. So um, that's it for today. Uh, always come back for more interesting videos. At least I find them interesting.